You talk about the advice to government that there's no choice but to follow. Remember, there's the American version of it and the gold standard of double standards, that being Anthony Fauci, who tried to tell the world in May of last year that there's no scientific evidence that anything came out of that Chinese lab. And now, in 2021, virtually a year after saying that, he now says this. I think that we should continue to investigate what went on in China until we find out to the best of our ability exactly what happened. Now, he has actively fought against this theory for the best part of a year. And now emails are starting to come out that Anthony Fauci himself was directly briefed that there was a very good chance that this thing was potentially engineered. He found that out in the early months of the pandemic, yet pretended that there was no such evidence. Now, am I smarter than all of these collective medical brains put together? No. But is there a common sense factor that politicians should be able to see? Yes. Why should they blindly follow people who say things as stupid as hotspots include areas that haven't had cases for 90 days because geographically the ACT is in the middle of New South Wales? Why should they blindly follow the advice of people who say that there's some fast-moving beast when only 37 people have got the virus of more than 300,000 that have been tested in the past month and most of which are in one local government area? And it is fairly obvious that you do have a choice whether you go into lockdown or not when the chief advice you were getting from a bureaucrat is telling you that there's a chance the coronavirus might end up on a football because the person kicking it came from Melbourne, despite the fact that they don't have it. Oh, and then the reason you shouldn't touch the ball is because sweaty men have been touching it.